history or legend? Who was Echetleus, the mysterious warrior in the Battle of Marathon? Hello and welcome to another video on Greek mythology. My name is Marielena and I'm the person behind Helenica.com. If you are interested in Greek mythology, the Greek language, history and culture, feel free to subscribe and check the rest of the videos. I have plenty of content on similar topics. Today we will be talking about the Battle of Marathon and the mystery surrounding this historical event. And yes, as I said, this is a historical event and this series is dedicated on Greek mythology. Well, what if I told you that sometimes history and legends coexist? And some of the things I will mention today were actually transcribed by very valid sources, such as the ancient Greek historian and the father of history, Herodotus. So let's get started. Two very important ancient civilizations were the Greeks and the Persians. At some point, these two civilizations clashed in a series of conflicts that we now call the Persian Wars. In the description down below, uh, I will link to my website where I describe the historical events in detail, but for this video, let me give you the most important points. Uh, basically, it all started when the ever-expanding Persian Empire invaded the Greek-inhabited region of Ionia or Ionia in Asia Minor. The Greek inhabitants soon revolted against the empire and the Athenians and some other Greek city-states helped them. The Persians, wanting to eradicate any possible danger, tried to invade mainland Greece and punish Athens and whichever other city helped the um, Ionian Greeks. And their first attempt ended with the Battle of Marathon, in which the Greeks won, although they were outnumbered. Historians and archaeologists Examine till today the strategy that the Greeks followed, since it comes as a great surprise that they were able to win against such a massive and well-equipped army. It comes as no surprise that there are a lot of stories that involve mysterious soldiers and paranormal activities that are said to have helped Greeks win against the Persians. Let's explore the stories together and focus on Hetleus, the most mysterious warrior of ancient Greece. The first myth that has survived till today says that Pan, the half-man, half-goat god, was observing the battle from a cave close to the battleground. At one point, the runner Philippivis came face to face with the god, and the second had an important question to ask. Why did the Athenians not honor Pan as much as they honored the Olympian gods? Philippivis promised that the city-state of Athens would honor Pan from now on, and the god is said to have helped the Greek army by scaring away a part of the Persian army with his loud, terrifying screams. The enemies were in panic mode, a term we use even today to express great fear. The philosopher and biographer Plutarch mentions that the ghost of the mythical king Theseus appeared in the battleground and fought against the Persian army. And even gods and goddesses from Mount Olympus were believed to have helped the Greek army in various ways. But the most enigmatic supernatural presence in Marathon is described by the ancient geographer Pafsanias. In the Stoa Pikili, in the north side of the ancient Agora of Athens, a painting was created that displayed the heroes of the Battle of Marathon. This painting included the hero Echetleus, also seen as Echetlaus and Echetlus, who appeared on the battleground out of nowhere. He fought against the Persians along with the Athenians and disappeared after the end of the battle. He was dressed up like a farmer and he held a plow and a cattle prod. These agricultural tools were his lethal weapons. He is described as killing countless enemies with no effort. 
despite wearing no protective gear, he was not wound and his appearance resembled a god. He was tall and muscular, almost unhuman. Echetleus was worshipped by the Athenians as the hero of the Echethlon. His name survives till today, although he is not as well known as Hercules and other ancient Greek heroes. Some believe that Echetleus was sent by the god Pan since he was seen exiting the same cave from which Pan was observing the battle. However, others speculate that he is connected to Demeter, Persephone and the secret Aquarian rituals revolving them, the Eleusinian Mysteries. And this is connected to another legend that wants the Athenians to have witnessed the Eleusinian procession the night before the battle. However, the people marching resemble costly figures and not real people. Now I'm really curious to hear what you think about Echetleus. Was he a mythical or historical figure? Was he sent by gods or was he just a very strong uh, farmer who happened to pass by the battleground and fight with the Greeks? If he was sent by the gods, was he sent by Pan or Demeter and Persephone? I'm really curious to hear about your thoughts and feel free to share any other a paranormal activity that happened in this battle or in any other ancient Greek battle. I'm really curious to hear uh, what do you know about this um, event. So yeah, hopefully I will see you in the next one. If you want to watch more videos from my channel, don't forget to subscribe and yeah, see you in the next one. Have a nice day or night. Bye!